الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين. I want you to reflect a little bit on the saying of Allah سبحانه وتعالى: استجيبوا لربكم من قبل أي يأتي يوم لا مرد له من الله. استجيبوا لربكم respond to the call of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala your Lord min qabli an yati a yawm before a day comes la maradda lahu min Allah definitely it's going to happen ma lakum min malja'in yawma idhin you have nowhere to go to hide or to take refuge wa ma lakum min nakir and you cannot deny the facts that you're going to be presented with or what's happening at that time. Of course, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is talking about the Day of Judgment. What is the message? What do you want to respond? What is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saying? What does He want from you to answer? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Surah Al-Baqarah قال يَا أَيُّهَا النَّاسُ اعْبُدُوا رَبَّكُمْ الَّذِي خَلَقَكُمْ وَالَّذِينَ مِنْ قَبْلِكُمْ لَعَلَّكُمْ تَتَّقُونَ O people, worship your Lord, the one who created you and the one before you, so you may be righteous. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us also in Surah Al-Baqarah يَا أَيُّهَا النَّاسُ ودخلوا في السلم كافة. All people enter in the teachings of Islam as a whole unit. What does that mean? It's not saying this is important, this is not important, this is Sunnah, this is Wajib, this is that. All of it. Enter it, all of it. If you were to prioritize like you saying this is more important than this, then this is only in cases that you are stuck. You have to do this or this, then you do the most important. So if I tell you grow your beard, don't tell me there are bigger issues. Ask me why. Go ahead, brother, ask me why. why? Thank you for asking me. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> Get involved. Why? Because is it going to hinder you from the bigger <coughs> issues? It's not. Actually, it's going to give you more time. It's going to make you look better. It's going to make you adhere and follow a lot that look like the Prophet said. You love a player, you go put his hat, and you wear his shirt, and you put his uh, underwear and everything that uh, it could be haram, and you, and you copy because you like that person. And then you come and you say, Prophet Muhammad وسلم, is my prophet, and he is, and he is, and he is, and you don't resemble anything like him. What kind of fakeness is this? What kind of hypocrisy that we are living in? And then we say, Allahumma ansir ikhwanana fi Palestine. Allahumma ansir ikhwanana fi Kashmir. Allahumma ansir You know what you're talking? You know who you're making dua for? You know what you're saying? Who are you that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to accept your dua? I'm not saying don't make dua. I'm not judging your intentions. I'm talking about actions. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepts only from the righteous. Make it a deal. That's Quran, that's not my opinion. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepts from person who is attentive, knows what he's saying, understand what he's saying. His heart is there. It was reported that Prophet Musa alayhi salam heard a shepherd making dua. And it moved him. So he said, Oh Allah, if I can give that person what he's asking, I will. A human being that so moved with the dua, it touched his heart, he's going to just give him what he wants. 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told him, Ya Musa, هذا يدعوني وقلبه معلق بغنمه He said, he's making and talking to me, his heart is attached to his sheep. His tongue is moving and his heart is somewhere else. Just like I told you in the khutbah. I was reading from my memory, completely focused. And my tongue is moving. And I pay attention all of a sudden, I'm going, where am I? Well, yeah. And then I know where I'm at. I said, but I don't remember anything I read from that page. And I'm there, and I'm focused, and I'm paying attention, and I deviate. Imagine when a person doesn't know what he's reading, and doesn't know what he's hearing, and doesn't know what he's saying, and he's worried like just some people would be talking to his mom and dad, and he's uh, texting or talking messages, yeah, mom, oh, yeah, inshallah, yeah, okay. You mean to tell me this person understood everything? and going to really fulfill everything and really cares for the person who's talking to him. Disrespect, this is disrespect to a human being. When someone talking to you and you are like, like, salam alaikum brother. And then you are like this, wa alaikum as -salam. You don't even look at the person. A lot of people do that. You say salam alaikum to him, he doesn't even look at you. He says wa alaikum as -salam. What is the Interaction, where is the face, where is the smile, where is the handshake, where is the, the, the feeling that, that makes you even understand that what you're doing is rewarding. Istajibu li rabbikum. Accept, respond. When you istajib, that means you heard the message, you understood the message, you fulfilled the message the way Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants it, which means the way He taught you with Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This is istijaba. Istijaba is to be on the straight path. Istijaba is to fulfill as is, but it's not just, okay, okay, and your mind you don't even know what the message is. So brothers, reminder for myself and you, focus. Don't just worry about what's going on in the Middle East and you are going in an opposite direction of Jannah and expect Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to put you in heaven and to make you victorious on the shoulders of someone else, similar to where you were, brother. You know where you were, right? Similar to that. Jesus died for my sins, and let me just do whatever I want to do, and I'm going to heaven. Aren't we saying that? Yeah, you think Christians do that? Muslims do that. Allah ghafur rahim Isn't that the same thing? Allah is forgiven. Do everything in the book haram and then say Allah is forgiven. Allah is forgiven for you if you deserve it. Merciful to you if you deserve it. But if you are thinking that he is merciful to you because he's given you and feeding you, he fed Karun and he fed Fir'aun and he took care of all of the worst tyrant on earth. This is different mercy. We're talking about the mercy that qualifies you for Jannah. A mercy that makes your actions accepted. That's the mercy that we're looking for, not to the general mercy that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives to animals. That's istijabah. Have a good weekend. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdik ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik. Assalamu alaykum.